See, now it's two. Now, now it's two, whatever. It's not whatever. You guys aren't whatever than me. What is up everybody? It is now Thursday. How are you doing on this fine whatever day you're watching from? I hope you're doing well. Um, I don't really have much planned for today and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might go hang out with some friends today. I might not. Uh, I might just sit around and kind of relax. Not really sure. A uh, new video is out. I just posted the last vlog. If you guys want to check it out, you can go right here. I believe, yes, a little card will pop out. You can click there if you haven't seen the last video. Um, and hopefully today is fun. Hopefully tomorrow is fun. What is up, everybody? It is currently Friday. Um, I actually didn't really have anything planned for today because I didn't really do anything yesterday. And I was like, what am I going to do today? But my friend Kimberly, who have you guys have seen before at many different vlogs, she hit me up and she was like, hey, we should go take some we should go do some photography, you know, take some shots at a cool park or something. So I'm gonna go do that. Maybe I'll fly my drone too. It's just a lot to carry around sometimes because I don't have a backpack for it or anything. It's just that giant, where is it? Where is it? It's just, it's just this giant carrying case. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring it or not, but yeah, we're gonna go do that today. And she just made like a cool new Instagram page about it. Like she just started this whole like new Instagram page. So if you guys wanna go check that out, I'll put her I'll put both of her links, like normal Instagram and, you know, photography Instagram, but super good at it. I haven't done photography in a while because I just haven't actually shot anything in a while, but I'm excited. So it should be fun. That's in like, I don't know how long, but it will be a fun day. It will be a fun vlog. So if you're wondering why it is currently dark outside and I still haven't done anything with my day, it is because I did have plans with my friend Kimberly, who I mentioned before. Uh, she had some other stuff she had to go do that was very important and we could not do anything. Sad, yes, I know, but again, things happen. So what do I do in the midst of panic, realizing I have a video to put up tomorrow and I still haven't filmed that much? That usually means I would like to share wisdom or a story with you guys. I'm, I'm turning into a normal YouTuber now, not a vlogger. Now I'm just turning into I sit at my desk and talk to you guys type of thing. I can't do that every other day. I'm, I'm so sorry. I have no friends. I, I have no money. I'm, I'm losing it. You guys are experiencing this hands-on. I keep looking at myself, which isn't good. And you look at you guys and you turn my focus. Anywho, since I had the talk of photography in today's vlog, I wanted to talk about kind of where I started in photography and kind of where I see myself going with it and where I'm currently at with it. So first I want to talk about kind of how I got into photography and it's actually not that big of a story. It wasn't like, I discovered this burning passion for it. It's like, no, nah, I didn't. I just kind of like picked up a camera. Uh, it kind of started I want to say started around when I was in junior high my sister who now runs an actual like fashion Instagram blog tried running kind of like a lesser blog back in the day I'll link her stuff below. I shot stuff for my sister and back then it was just a tiny little like point and shoot from God knows what company but I started taking pictures of her and I really enjoyed it you know getting different angles blah 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 most of it was just me like just taking pictures like I thought nothing of it like it was just to me it was another like here's a point and shoot click 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 you know nothing too serious and people started telling me like hey like who takes you know your pictures to my sister and she goes oh my brother They're like oh we really like them like we really like the angles blah 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 and from there I was like oh that's cool like photography seems interesting so kind of in that junior high midst I started you know experimenting with photography you know going outside like in my house you know shooting some stuff and it started to turn into a really fun hobby and I really enjoyed it and, and then around my freshman year I actually got my first camera which is the one you guys are watching me on it's the Canon Rebel T3i it's literally been my best friend for the past like four to five years I've had it for wow I want to say I think this summer will be 
the fourth year I've had it or the fifth year. Maybe the fourth. I can't remember, but one of those. And that's when I first got this camera. Since then, I've just gotten different lenses and different equipment, but I've had this camera for so long and it's literally was such a huge step up because I was not expecting it at all. It was like an amazing gift from my parents. And I went from basically a really crappy point and shoot to this DSLR, which I knew nothing about. Literally nothing. I didn't know about ISO, shutter speed, blah, 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 so on, so on, all the details. So throughout the years, I've been kind of self-learning. Through high school, I joined like different like kind of ASB and different school stuff related to media and photography, which I met older people who uh, knew a lot more than I did and they taught me their stuff. And from there, it's been kind of a series of watching YouTube videos, learning tutorials, you know, going out and doing stuff on my own. And from all of that combined, it's kind of led into this giant, uh, throughout high school, I just went through this whole like photography stuff. And it's been throughout different points of my life where like there'll be a chunk where I learn a lot of stuff and I do a lot of things and it'll just be like a dead point. Um, so I would say kind of, yeah, I would be on and off with it because obviously school gets busy, all these things get busy. But ever since then, I've had this kind of like passion for taking photos and kind of photography Obviously, my Instagram can show a lot of that. I, I do believe in the saying that people say, you know, if you keep doing something, you'll get better at it. And that is something that is so heavily, like, weighted on photography is that every photo you take will be bad for a long time. Like, you'll take bad photos for a long time. And after taking photos for a while, you'll go back and look at photos you took from a year ago that you thought were really good. And you're like, wow, that's a really bad photo. Because, or sometimes it'll be the opposite. You'll be like, wow, that was a really good photo. Like, I, how did I even take that? Like, I don't even remember taking that because that's happened to me. Yeah, now photography has been kind of this passion for me. It's something I want to dive deeper into when I get into more of careers. It's definitely been something that has been implemented into like what I want to do as a career. I don't want to be a full-time photographer, or at least that's not my full kind of choice yet. Uh, maybe if I do want to do that, that's something I might do. Uh, but for now, it's kind of something I like keeping as a hobby or maybe something that's a part of my job, but not 100%. I do think the hardest thing about being a photographer in today's day and age or aspiring to be one or to be called a photographer is very, very hard, especially since we have these, our smartphones, which take sometimes better photos than my DSLR. In some aspects, obviously this is better, interchangeable lenses, memory cards, lots of settings, whereas this thing is very limited to a smaller camera, of course. But it's crazy nowadays, the amount of things that we can take photos with. You know, point and shoots are getting crazy good, cameras are getting smaller, they're in our phones, they're everywhere, you know. It's something that's so easy compared to back in the day when people only shot on film, it was kind of a harder thing to do. Like if you were devoted to it, you were devoted to it, like you would take time into it. And people, you know, not that many people were into it. It had to be something you were special at. And nowadays, it's as easy as picking up your phone and pointing and shooting, and that's it. Uh, and so I think that's why it's hard to be aspired to be a photographer or to be called one. Because sometimes people will call me a photographer or like a professional photographer. And I go, no, 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 no. Like, I'm, I'm not. Like, you're a photographer as much as I'm a photographer. And, you know, to me, it doesn't take, I don't think it takes an enormous amount of skill. I just think it takes a lot of time. Because obviously, better photos will show with better equipment and editing and time. So it's not so much a hard thing to do. So if you're aspiring to be a photographer, if you're aspiring to learn more about it, it's like, it's come to a point in our day and age where it's not that hard to learn a new hobby. You know, we have YouTube and the internet. Most of what I learned was on my own from the internet. Like I learned about ISO, shutter speed, you know, the triangle of light that can, it's, it's all this stuff, you know, composition. It, it's a thing that you just have to put time into because that's what I did because I still don't feel good at it I don't feel good at, it at all people are like oh your photography is amazing I'm like I feel horrible at it. like there's some things I don't know about there's still things I'm learning about you know I'm I'm not sure how like light bounces in direction blah 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 you know all this stuff so it's hard you know well that is enough for me I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant I gave it's mostly because I didn't have anything to actually do um, I really hope I I don't turn into a sit down and talk channel but this has been kind of my day. I've just been kind of sitting here. Life is weird. Photography is cool. You guys should try it. Definitely. You know, it's, it's even just practicing with your own smartphone. If you have an iPhone, you know, Samsung, blah, 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 this goes on. 
go out and try some photography. Like, it's not, it won't kill you. Everyone does it. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely go leave a like down below to tell me that you did. Comment, share, and definitely subscribe because I post every other day. I'm going to continue to do so no matter what I do and do not do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just ranting about photography and kind of my take and on it and what I've been doing. Kind of my point on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so done with <laughs> yourself. Anyways, I guess that's it for today's video, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.